welcome to the very first video for 2022, 2022 uh, on Robinica's channel. And today's video, I'm going to use all these products that I'm showing you here, some Copic markers, a Momento Tuxedo ink, because I'm using this Copic colors, a green color fuse ink palette, and a couple of uh, um, stamp sets here, one for the floral images and the other one for the sentiment. I'm going to make this into a birthday card. But the whole idea of this card is for you to show you how to choose colors uh, in order to put or uh, in order to choose colors for your cards. I don't know if I'm making sense there. So here you can see I've chosen a green color, which we usually don't use the green color as a focal uh, color in most of our cards we usually tend to do our base colors as white or more neutral colors like blacks and whites and maybe even lighter shades of grays but we tend not to do the green color because it's it's kind of hard to combine this green with different colors but I want to show you um, of on this color wheel that I'm showing you this is a very cheap old color wheel which I highly recommend you should have in your stock um, and what it helps you to do is it helps you to uh, combine colors um, in various combinations so there that when you put this uh, the 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 green color the pure green has a complementary color which is directly red which is what we usually use for Christmas and it's a very common thing but then after Christmas we put our reds and our greens aside so I want to show you that you can definitely take your Christmas colors into the season and create different elements along the along the year so what I've done is uh, I, I if you keep moving that circle it'll show you different options it'll show you the triadic option it'll show you the complementary option what I have chosen for this card especially is a split complementary so what it does is the split complementary you can see there it has it it complements the yellow greens and the violet red violet color so that is my color combination that I'm going to go with and we're going to pull that color using this dark green here so what I've done is I've gone ahead and stamped uh, this floral image and some leaves using the memento ink and I'm going to use some green color as you can see the green colors in the split complementary for the green is a, a, a very olivey green <laughs> and what I've done is I've chosen three different green shades to do that to attain that color that I want um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the darkest green in this case here is YG99 and I'm just going to use that in the center of the leaf or where the vein of the leaf would be and then I'm going to blend that using YG95 now when you're blending this make sure you're not going deeper into the white or the dark color but only in the tip of where you end the dark color is where you blend that so that gives you a more um, even blend and then I'm going to take this uh, green color or oh, sorry YG I think I used YG 21 as my lightest color and I'm going to blend that all through uh, the remaining part of the green color and you can see how similar it is in that if you look at that color wheel on the right side you can I mean on the right side you can see that YG element that we use is very close to the color that is in that split complementary for the green color that we are choosing I hope that makes sense so once I'm done with coloring the two green flowers and I'm, uh, leaves, I'm also going to color the flower. And for the flower, we're going to go with those violet colors in the uh, split complementary that we are doing. So in the center for the flower, I'm going to go with a deeper violet. And this is BV08. Though this is a BV08, which has a blue violet in it, it still reads out as very deep violet and then I'm going to blend that with some uh, uh, V um, I think I used V 40, 25 I will have all the colors in the description box below for you and then for the flower itself I'm just, just choosing two shades of violet one is V01 and then I'm going to blend that out to nothing to v, with V quadru quadruple zero so basic the flower is going to be very white just that a hint of violet so to your eye, it's going to look like a very pale violet flower. But if you, when you, when you, when you, when I color it, you can see I'm really not going uh, to the edges of the petal. So all I'm doing here is I'm taking V01, which is the darker of the two, and I'm adding it to the shadow area of the petal. 
and you can see I'm not extending it a whole lot. It's just a tiny, tiny bit of that V01 in all the shadow areas. Make sure you're adding that V01 even to the back petals because every petal will create a shadow behind the petal on the petal that's behind it. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that V01 with V quadruple zero. And you can see here, I'm not coming to the edge of the petal just, just enough to blend that V02 and make it almost seamless into the white of the cardstock. So the remaining petal, the flower is very much white, but I'm just adding a tiny bit of color to this because I don't want it to overpower a whole lot. I don't want the purple to be a whole lot too. That's another thing. When you are choosing color combinations, you want to make sure that you're using different colors in different quantity. You don't, because my green is high, I don't want to put a whole lot of purple either because then it's going to be so gaudy. It's going to be so uh, overpowering. So you want to tone down the colors or the quantity of the colors. So after I'd done that, I went ahead and fussy cut it and off screen, I had done the same coloring method for multiple flowers and leaves. And here what I'm doing is I'm taking that green cardstock and I'm going to use the largest of the flowers from that stamp set. And I'm going to stamp that using the a, a really dark green color fuse ink. And the color that I used is called basil. And I'm just going to do like a watermark um, uh, image or like a very subtle background using this large floral image. And if you don't have this uh, a green color if, even if you have a lighter color it'll it'll work fine because it's going to act like a watermark on that cardstock and then what I have before I start to adhere those um, flowers I'm going to have gone ahead and taken this wishes die cut uh, using um, I mean <laughs> wishes die cut and I've gone ahead and die cut that using a white cardstock and I have kind of layered it up to make it a really thick uh, chipboard style car uh, uh, sentiment die cut and I'm going to adhere that onto the center of this kind of a center of this a green card stock and I'm just going to and then I'm also going to add I've also gone ahead and um, stamped and uh, cut this happy birthday from another stamp set which I showed you earlier and I'm going to adhere that above the wishes so it reads happy birthday wishes uh, for this card and then all that is left to do is start adhering uh, the flowers but don't I, I just remembered I needed to put the tittle on the eye never forget the tittle on the eye it's very important you know you dot your eyes and cross your t's <laughs> anyway so here you can see all that is left to do is then just adhere these flowers and i just want to kind of create a three two one pattern if you remember from the pattern series that i had done last year i talked about when you have floral images on your card you want to have the principle of three two one so i'm going to build on that same principle here i'm going to adhere three flowers and then i'm going to adhere two flowers and then i'm going to adhere one single flower with some leaves around the edges and you'll and that kind of creates a very visually calming scene on your uh, cardstock so here you can see how we've balanced those colors from that color wheels um, so when I adhere this you can see even though green panel was a large panel to start off with but when we start adding these flowers and these leaves elements and the sentiment over that panel even the green starts to shrink you see what I'm saying so it's still it's not like it's a whole lot of green there either it starts shrinking because all the other elements is taking the space of that really green so don't be scared to experiment with colors, colors that you usually don't use. But if you use your color wheel, I promise you, you can really come up with amazing color um, color combinations. And all is left to do is make sure you, as I said, the quantity of the color, how much quantity are you using of each color variation? What is your focal color that you want to stand out? So all those elements, uh, keep that in your mind. And also the hues, just because it's violet doesn't mean you have to have stark white. Violet has a lot of hues in it, darker violet, lighter violets. You can see in that flower itself, there are two different hues of violet so go ahead and use those different hues of violets uh, or whatever colors you use so the the hues the saturation saturation is how dark you want to go or how light you want to go 
all of those matter when you're bringing into color combos but so choosing a color combination itself is not too hard i promise you if you have a color wheel so all i'm doing here is just um i've gone ahead and added some really light uh, violet color gemstones all around the cardstock uh, and then I'm just going to adhere that card panel that we finished onto this white top pole folding note card and I'm just using some foam adhesive and this liquid adhesive just helps me to kind of maneuver uh, the, the card layer so that I'm not uh, adhering it wonky and then once I'm done with that this card is pretty much done very soon here once I'm done here Okay, I'm just cleaning up my surface, which is half the time when I'm making a card. I'm always cleaning up the surface. I did not edit this section. I don't know why. I just left it there for you to see what happens when I'm making the card. So most of the time I'm off screen, figuring out something. Uh, I think there was a little extra bit of white showing on the edges of my cardstock. And I'm just uh, cutting that away. Um, and here you go is the finished card all done. Here's a closer look of the card. I really hope you will uh, give the color combination using a color wheel a go. And I will see you next time. Happy New Year. Bye bye.